Woo. Don't do that. Uh, hey, it's me. <laughs> it's me, the N to the J to the B. And I am leaving an audition, a commercial audition. It went very well. And uh, heading home to film another audition. It's noon. This other audition is supposed to be in by 110. I don't know y'all, I don't know. We're gonna see uh, if I can. I'll just, I'll ask for more time. Look, it was sent to me last night at like 8.20 p.m. I already had this morning audition and uh, I was also having groceries delivered. So like I had some things to do. Uh, so I will do my best, but I ain't gonna stress, all right? <laughs> A lot of stuff has been happening outside of auditions. I've had some, some family members get sick, which was not great. It still isn't great. Uh, just been concerned about some folks. And I had me all in my feelings about some things, but I have adjusted my attitude and I am back. And uh, it was really, really, really rainy. I'm sure you've seen it on the news if you, you know, or heard about it or something, but like we got rain, we got a lot of rain. And we normally get a lot of rain in January and February. What is this car doing? Ooh, you tripping. Uh, yeah, January and February. It's crazy because it's like we get all the rain at once and then we on fire for the rest of the year, you know? Like, can we just get it spread out throughout the year? Do we have to do it this way? Apparently we do. So, I am happy to see the sun. And uh, I hear that more showers are coming our way, but I hope it's, I hope it's at a time when I don't have to be outside. You know, it's, and it's, it was bad for a lot of people. Like people are talking about their, their Roofs are leaking into their houses. Um, uh, some cars drove into sinkholes, like sinkholes opened up in the street. So I was really fortunate that I did not have to go anywhere. But uh, today I had to go somewhere and it is sunny and it's drying up. It's not completely dry yet. Well, this street is, but a lot of places you can tell that it rained a lot. So when I get home, I am going to film, well, I'm gonna do my audition first. <laughs> and then after, I, after I've sent that off, I'm gonna film myself trying on clothes so that you all can give me feedback. I can see how they look because I haven't tried on everything. I'm still, speaking of trying out things, I'm trying out this, this setup that I have here. I can sort of see myself. It's not, it's not perfect. It's uh. I don't want to say the term. <laughs> it's rigged. I'll just say that. I've rigged it <laughs> so that I can film myself while I'm uh, while I'm driving and I can see somewhat of the frame that you're getting. I can see what you see. I'm filming myself with a better camera so the screen is facing away from me. So I have a mirror like I showed you in the last video showing me what's on the screen but I can only see up to a certain point and then the phone screen is covered by the phone cradle so like I don't know if you can only see me hold on hold on I can only see myself up to up to here all right so I know where I am in the frame but I don't know if you can just see right to here if you can see down to here I don't know what else you can see so uh, hey we're gonna keep life interesting <laughs> I'll find out when I edit but Yes, I'm going to wear, I believe it was, uh, I, I believe it was Gloria who asked me if I'm planning to wear the red, like the, the red tulle skirt, you know, the long tutu skirt, when I uh, go to this event next month, and the answer is yes, so I am, I'm auditioning tops to go with it, and the first couple that I thought would work well, Nah, <laughs> did not look so good. So, I have, I think I have three more. And whatever I don't choose, we'll go back to Amazon. So I'm gonna do the try on. 
and uh, please help me choose. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Headed home and I will see you in a little bit. All right, bye. Okay, here I am three days later. Do you see me putting on a fashion show? No, you do not. <laughs> let me tell you what's been going on. Uh, first, let me apologize because I fully did intend to have the, the video that you just saw and uh, the me trying on the clothes up by now. Uh, it's, it's just been, it's been a hectic week <laughs> and I've been very tired. I'm trying to figure out where to start. I haven't been able to keep up. I've been having trouble falling asleep at night. And then there were a couple days where I just like physically could not drag myself out of bed before noon. I saw my oncologist yesterday morning. We switched my medication about two weeks ago because uh, the tamoxifen that I was taking was causing some undesirable side effects that could have been problematic if I had kept taking it. She switched me to a medication called Letrozole. The hot flashes that I was having on the other medication have eased up, like they're gradually getting better. I don't know if they'll go away altogether or not because I'm, you know, a woman of a certain age, but they're not like they were, disruptive to my life. One day I was sitting here, I was sitting right here in this chair, getting ready to go somewhere. I was waiting for someone to pick me up and I just got so hot, um, just hot and sweating. It was cold outside. I opened the door uh, so I could get some cool air in. I turned the fan on. I turned the AC down to 68 degrees, which is as low as it'll go, and took my shirt off and sat here in front of the fan. And I was still hot. So like, that's what was happening. I haven't had any, any of those episodes since, since changing my medication this medication comes with its own side effects and I think I'm getting some of them. The possible side effects are bone pain, hair loss, fatigue, bone loss. So like osteoporosis, I have to take vitamin D now um, and I have to have a bone density test to get a baseline like what my bone should be and so and be monitored every so often so we can make sure that I'm not losing too much of my bone, like there's just, and weight gain, which I, I've experienced with the other, other medication as well. I'm, I'm frustrated. I was frustrated when I left the oncologist yesterday. I'm gonna say that I am grateful that uh, my cancer diagnosis, my cancer situation wasn't worse than it was. Here, let me close this. I don't know if you can see it, but my laptop was in front of me it hasn't been charging. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just on one today, <laughs> as you can tell. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, it's coming on now. All right, anyway, I'll just leave it open. I left my oncologist's office yesterday after, you know, her telling me about the potential side effects of this medication and how I have to take vitamin D now. I gotta get a bone density test. Um, you know, weight gain, hair loss. You won't lo lose all of it. I'm like, well, cause I've noticed that it's thinner. And she's like, yeah, any medication that decreases your estrogen will do these things to you. Okay, I don't know. I kept hearing, if you're gonna get breast cancer, this is the kind to get, all right? Which I'm still here, you know? I didn't have to have a mastectomy. I didn't have to have chemo. So those, uh, in themselves are blessings. But I thought that meant that once I was done with treatment, I would be done with treatment. You know, like it just, it just feels sometimes like it's just, it's an ongoing thing. It's, it's, it is, it's an ongoing thing, you know? Oh, okay. You're out of treatment. You just have to take that pill for 10 years. Yeah. But now I'm managing side effects. So for hot flashes, when I was on the other medication, my oncologist gave me another medication uh, that was supposed to help with that, um, but it would make me sleepy. And like, I'm just like, I don't want, and then that medication has its own side effects too. So it's just, 
at a certain point it's just managing side effects i don't know maybe this is just just part of getting older like i said before i don't i don't want to sound like i'm ungrateful i'm still here you know i'm still here and and for that i am grateful i'm just frustrated i'm, I'm frustrated uh right now and Hopefully the fatigue will go away in a couple of months. That's that's when I looked looked up this medication. That's what it said. My body has to get used to it. Uh, but I'm just feeling really out of sorts. So I have not yet tried on those clothes um, or filmed. What I did was I dragged myself through the <laughs> through the week doing only what I had to do. Uh, doing my auditions, I have to get some writing done. I, I really have to. Again, I'm apologizing for being unreliable over the past week. An audition came in last night. I guess it was about, I don't know, 6.30 p.m. or something like that. The casting director wanted the audition turned in by uh, 9 a.m. So I responded, I told my agent, I'll get it to her by 11. And he was, he responded with casting often only looks at the first batch that comes in. And if you can get it in tonight, please do so. And you know, have a good weekend. And so when I woke up today at like 9am, I sent him an email back saying, I feel it's disrespectful of the actor's time for casting to send something at night and then it's due first thing in the morning. On a Saturday morning, this is Saturday. Like what, really? You couldn't give us two more hours, three more hours? You didn't know until last night that you needed this? Like, when we were auditioning in person, I never had to be anywhere before 10 a.m., ever. But it's like now that, that we're filming at home and casting is mostly in their homes watching tapes. It's not all of them. Some of them feel like, okay, well, you're on call 24 hours, so if I send you something at 10.30 at night and tell you it's due at eight in the morning, then you need to get it in because if you won't, then somebody else will. And my answer to that is let them because I can't be at my best under those conditions. You know, I was tired, I was sleepy, I decided I was gonna get a good night's rest, and then if I could send in my audition after that, I was going to. So that's what I did. I, got, I sent it in at about 10.45 uh, this morning. My agent, who I thought was gonna be pissed off, he was actually understanding about it. He's like, yeah, it's just, it's crazy all over, you know? Um, and it is disrespectful, but this isn't a business that's built on respect which is true, it's built on people wanting things when they want them, which is also true. And I wanted some sleep, so I got some sleep, and then when I got up, I did my audition. So I'm just, um, I'm, try I'm trying to get through right now. I don't feel like myself at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing the best that I can at, at the moment. Uh, it's a mess in here. When my apartment is a mess, it, it, it it's like, I don't know which comes first, the chicken or the egg. I don't know if it's a mess because my brain is so cluttered at the moment or if my brain is cluttered because, <laughs> because it's such a mess in here. But I gotta get this together. You can see all it look, this is look it's just stuff, stuff everywhere. I'm trying to get my life together. I really am. It's rainy. Oh, so in order to have something different, you gotta do something different, right? And I don't just say that to other people, I actually try to do that for my own life. One of the things that I've done is I've joined a gym. I have a treadmill here, I got some free weights, but what happens here is uh, just because I haven't developed the discipline <laughs> to go, okay, no, this is my workout time and I am, I'm gonna ignore everything else. I have, haven't been able to do that yet, know yourself, so I need a place to go. If I'm going to the gym, I'm going to work out, you know, and if I'm paying for the gym, I'm going to go. <laughs> so I'm like, let me join this gym, but it's pouring rain again. It's like flash flooding like we had earlier in the week. I don't know how bad it's going to get, but that's supposed to go on for three days. So. I am not even trying to go outside today. I may change my mind. I just, 
it floods around here and I don't want to get stuck anywhere. I don't want no problems, all right? These are the kind of videos that, I mean, they're real. Uh, I don't particularly enjoy making them because I don't like, I don't like filming when I'm, when I'm in a bad mood. You know, I want to be at my best or, or somewhere in the neighborhood of being my best so that I have something uh, to share with you, you know, some, like some light to bring you. I don't want to bring you, you know, doom and gloom and uh, it's raining and woe is me. I, I, I don't really like it, but this is where I am. I got myself some new glasses. You know what? <laughs> I'm rambling. I just wanted to come and let you know that I have not forgotten about you. I have not forgotten that I, I am supposed to be uploading a fashion video to YouTube and I really want your feedback. I just got to get, get some other things in my life together and then we can play together. <laughs> I am either going to get on the treadmill today or I'm go going to uh, put on my, my Oculus VR headset and get my workout on. Oh, also, uh, I have greatly decreased the rate at which I door dash food. Other people are cooking your food. You don't really know what they're putting in, in it. Not, not like poison or anything like that, but the ingredients. How much salt does it have in it? How much sugar is in it? How much fat is in it? Like you really don't have control over it. So in order to not have my weight keep going up and up, I got to get a handle on that as well. What do they say? Abs are made in the kitchen. Like you can get on the treadmill all you want. You can go lift every weight that, that exists. But unless you are controlling your eating, you're, you're never going, going to be as fit as you want to be. And I really want to pull it together before it gets out of hand. Exercise is better for mood as well. I'm hoping that'll help me uh, not, not be a grump like I, like I feel right now. And that's, that's where I am. How are you doing? I hope it's not freezing where you are. I hope it's not <laughs> flooding like, like it is out here. It is raining cats and dogs and some other animals. If I'm not around for a few days, just know that there's a reason for it. Don't ever think it's just, nah, okay, well, you know, she's not bothering with us right now. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't. I did not have, have uh, any more juice in my battery. I'm going to work on my vision board today. I have been working on it and I want to finish it and then I want to show it to you. So there are some things that, 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 I, that I want to get to. You know the story, you know, life happens. <laughs> I will see you again soon, very soon. Um, even if it's just another grumpy update, which I hope it won't be, I hope. Till then, pray for me, please. Um, and, and if you need prayer, let me know in the comments. I have read the comments, even if I haven't replied to them. I enjoy knowing what's going on in your lives as well, you know? So yeah, let me know what's happening and I'll talk to you soon, hopefully in a better mood. <laughs> All right, bye.